guess where we are right now. I mean, obviously Skelly's here, so y'all can probably figure out what we're doing. Also, the title of this video will tell you. But we are starting off the 2022 Halloween season and going Halloween decor hunting. I am so freaking excited. I know it's still early. It is currently July 8th, so it's a bit early. It's fine though. It's great. I know some places have started putting out their stuff. And of course, we're starting off at at home. At home always kicks it off, does a really good job with Halloween decor. And I've been, I've been seeing some photos coming around of at homes that have stuff. So I thought we would go ahead and kick this vlog season off with Halloween decor hunting at at home. I don't know if we're only going to do at home today. It is a Friday. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon. It's about to be rush hour, but I wanted to get the like a little head start. This might be like a little pre-season for the Halloween decor hunting. My other ones usually are longer because I'll visit like four or five stores. This one might be a short, just a little introductory to the 2022 season. But hey, Skelly and I are here. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I have a new camera this year, so that's cool. Hopefully the quality is better. But yeah, I'm excited. My main goal is to get another one of those large ass jack-o'-lanterns that I got last year. I only got one last year and I kicked myself for it because I wanted two, but I didn't get two. I might get two this time because I think my mom wants one. You gonna chill here while I go in? He says he's gonna chill here. All right, I'm looking forward to it. I've seen some things, but I don't know a whole lot about what to expect, so yeah. Let's go in and see what At Home has to kick off this Halloween season. Yay! I have some words for my at home. This time last year, my at home had a bunch of stuff out. Like I got my big jack lantern, I think it was like July 2nd, and they don't have anything this year. I'll insert clips so that you can see, but there is hardly anything out right now. Like this time last year, Skelly wants to hold my hand. This time last year, there were so many things out for Halloween, and there's hardly anything this year. I don't know if they're dealing with shipping problems like the rest of the world. Cause like if anyone else tries to order anything, you know, sometimes things are back ordered. They won't get them for a while and stuff like that. There's like nothing in my at home right now. So that was really disappointing. So I may hold on to this footage and put it with more footage when I can go Halloween hunting again. Otherwise this will be like a two minute video. I don't know, it was very disappointing. I did end up getting just a few things. I mean, one was like a stand for a wind chime that I have, so that's not Halloween related. I also got some fall florals. Also not really Halloween related, but at least it's closer. And then the only real Halloween thing that I got was this skull like jar. I love it, I love the coloring for it. It's like orange pink, especially when it hits the sun. So that's like sunset and that's like my theme. That's like my color scheme. I love that. I love these colors so much. And also it just goes well with, you know, fall. So I did get this, but this was literally the only Halloween thing that I got. So that's kind of upsetting that they don't have anything else right now. I'll probably come back maybe next weekend. We'll see. I mean, there's no sense in me coming tomorrow on a Saturday. It's not going to be put out. So maybe I'll come next weekend and just kind of keep coming to see 
what might be out. So yeah, this is all I got. Skelly, I got you a friend. Y'all look like you could be buds. So yeah, this is pretty much all I got for this trip or saw for this trip. I didn't even see the big jack-o'-lantern, so I'm so sad about that. At least this is cute. And this is something I'd keep out year-round too. I always look for that with Halloween decor. I always look for things that I would actually keep out year-round. And things like this, I definitely would. Bit disappointing, but as my fiance would put, it's still too early for Halloween. Never too early for Halloween. Okay, I'm gonna go get sheets now because I'm hungry. Well, hello, everyone. It is Wednesday, July 20th. It's been almost two weeks since my last Halloween decor hunting attempt. And I am hoping that that has been enough time for stuff to come out. So the goal for today is I'm currently in the parking lot of at home again. So I'm hoping they have stuff this time. Cause again, it's been almost two weeks. Fingers crossed they have something this time. And then I want to hit up Michael's and Bath and Body Works. Not necessarily in that order, whichever one I get to first. But that is the hope. I really want to see some Halloween today. I am hopeful for those big pumpkins. Like I mentioned in the last time I came here almost two weeks ago. What do you think, Sally? You think we're gonna find anything today? God, I hope so, because otherwise this is gonna be really sad. I'm manifesting it. I'm like wearing my bat choker. I'm wearing my scream earrings. I have my pumpkin purse. I'm wearing Halloween colors. Like, fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. Cross your fingers, Skelly. He says he's got them crossed. Okay, let's go in. Gotta cut the air on so if you hear the air, not bad. All right, so I just got done in at home. I don't know what's going on with my at home because there was still hardly anything. Now, I don't wanna say that this trip was a fail because it most certainly was not because those pumpkins that I wanted, ta-da! And luckily, I wanted another one. I got one last year and I wanted another one. My mom saw them 
really wanted one. Luckily for me, there were two on the shelf and I got both. <laughs> So I apologize to anyone that goes to my at home and is looking for those because I got the only two on the shelf. And I did get a few other things like I got, I don't want to take things out of the bags because uh, I do have some breakables, but I did get this little guy because I want to put this on a kitchen counter. I don't know where exactly on the kitchen counter. I got to clean some things off, but I think he's cute. He also lights up like the big orange ones. And then I got a coffee mug. I think I showed it like in my little video inside. It's a skull really nice and big and then I got last time I got like this orange mercury glass skull jar well now they have light up ones but they only have purple and green that light up so I got a green one that lights up don't know where I'm gonna put that but it's really cute it's the same thing as the orange one just slightly bigger and lights up they've got a few more things out like they've started putting the lawn stuff out but still the shelves are so bare like this time last year those shelves were packed they were full. This year, I don't know what's going on. Usually my at home gets stuff first and now it's like they don't get anything at all. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm happy with what I was able to get. I was able to get pumpkins, which that was the big thing I wanted, were those two pumpkins. There were only two, so it worked out for me. But yeah, so anyway, now I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works. I don't know which one. I'm probably gonna go to the big one just because there's probably gonna be more there. Michael's I might go to the one because today's Wednesday, so I volunteer on Wednesdays at a PetSmart. And so there's a Michael's right next door to the PetSmart, so I might go to that one just to see what they have. And that will be this vlog, maybe. We'll see. My, I wish I had like super long ones to show y'all, but I don't. But anyway, we're gonna go do that because it is two o'clock now. I wanna get back home before my volunteer shift, which is basically anytime between five and eight. We're gonna go to Bath and Body Works. Alright, hello. As you can see, I have been in Bath and Body Works and I got a few things. I didn't really get anything Halloween themed there because I am not a huge fan of their Halloween stuff. I know a lot of people really like the stuff this year. I am not one of those people. I don't know what it is, it's just not my thing. There's a lot of bright colors. It's a weird shade of purple going on, weird shades of green going on. It's just not for me. I'm very simple when it comes to Halloween stuff. I really like white and black with orange and then like deeper greens than these like really fluorescent greens. So I didn't really get anything. I'm sorry, is that upsetting you? So I didn't really get anything Halloween related except for I did get one thing. I did get one thing. I don't really think I count this as Halloween though. This is more so fall, but please tell me. Like, look at this. This is so cute. This is one of Bath and Body Works like little hand sanitizer holders. So you do it like this, I think. Pop it in and then the little opening is down at the bottom and then you can clip it on. It's just really freaking cute. So I did get that. But that's really the only Halloween related thing I got, but I did get some hand sanitizers. I got four candles and then I got a mini spray to like keep in my purse. But I did get cranberry peach, marshmallow pumpkin latte, vampire blood, warm vanilla sugar, and into the night, which I might start with that one since it's not, it's not really fall. It's just a really nice scent. A lot of people really like ghoul friend and I wanted to like ghoul friend, but it is too sweet in my opinion. I am not a fan. I didn't get anything with that scent. Please look how cute this is. And like I can put it on my little pumpkin purse over here. Oh my God, look. <gasps> Guys, 
Look! How adorable. Don't even try and tell me this isn't adorable. The spray that I got was, well, see, it's just like a little mini one, but it's the marshmallow pumpkin latte, and it's just good to go in my purse. But it's just something I keep deodorant in my purse. I can't do little purses unless I'm going for like an event where I really can't carry anything with me. I hate little purses, which is why I like this big pumpkin so much because it can hold a lot. But I have to have like deodorant, perfume, because one of my biggest fears is that I stink. What candles did I end up getting? I guess. Harvest Gathering, which that one just it smells so clean. I know I got the blueberry maple pancakes, which oh, I'm sorry. Hit, oh, there it is. Blueberry maple pancakes. This is my favorite scent next to Cranberry Woods, which I think I got Cranberry Woods, which to me is a winter scent, but it's also one of my favorites. Yeah, Cranberry Woods. Honestly, I would burn this year round because it's so good. And then what was this last one I got? I only got four candles. Oh, Lakeside Morning, because I just got done burning this one. Oh my God, this one smells so good. Crisp air driftwood and fresh green apple. Oh my God, it smells so good. So that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. So again, not a fail, but just like not a whole lot. I was nervous to record at first when I went in there because for a Wednesday at like 2.30, there are a lot of people in there and I realize it's July. So, you know, school's out and stuff like that. But I was just like, damn, what are y'all doing out? I think I'm gonna head back home now until it's time for me to go volunteer. And then once I'm done volunteering, I'm gonna stop by my Michaels and see what they have. And then that'll be it for today. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Well, hello. I am uh, back home now after some Halloween decor hunting. I went to Michael's after I did my volunteer shift at PetSmart and Michael's honestly has pretty good amount of Halloween out for middle of July. I know Michael's is usually one of the last to put out Halloween related things. They'll put out fall stuff pretty early, but Halloween related things usually happens much later. And so they actually had an entire like one side of an aisle dedicated to Halloween. So like, honestly, I can't be mad about it. Oh, uh, it was pretty cool. I did end up picking up one thing, which is this vase has a little skull on it. It's black and gold, which I like. And so then I picked that up with some like grayish looking fake hydrangeas. And so I'm going to end up like cutting these and putting them in here. And I think that's going to be really pretty. But yeah, so that was it for Michaels. They have some good stuff. You know, they always have their like wreath making area. I wish I was crafty enough to do that, but I'm not. That was our like Halloween decor hunting part 
one and a half since there is the clip at the beginning where I attempted and there was hardly anything in it at home. And I was like, never mind, we'll wait a few weeks. So this is like part one and a half. But I'm gonna try again probably in another week and a half or so. Also, sorry for the darkness in my kitchen right now. My lights haven't cut on yet. To see if anything has moved because what is it? The end of July is next week. So then that means August will be two weeks from now. So maybe once we get into August, we'll see more stuff. But yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this first Halloween decor hunting vlog. Stay tuned for another part, probably in about two weeks or so. Also, if you spot any Halloween around, let me know where you're seeing it. Does your at home have stuff? Does your Bath and Body Works have more stuff? Does your Michaels have stuff? We don't try Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby doesn't like Halloween. They like fall, but they don't like Halloween. I know my mom mentioned that Tractor Supply was putting out some stuff, so maybe I'll hit up Tractor Supply. That could be interesting. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, viewing patron-only content, and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye all. Mm -hmm.